Hi folks, it's Mike. In this tutorial I will show you how to make glass material in Nox. Some of you asked for it. It's really fast and it will not take a lot of time. So let's get to the point. I set up simple scene with some backdrop, four lights and three spheres and one camera. And it renders like that. As you can see, three simple spheres, just default material on every uh, object. Let's go further. To make glass material, let's start from the left sphere. Run Nox Material Editor. Okay. As we can see, it's just normal default material. And if we want to make glass, we just need to turn on the transmission and we need to alter our roughness value. If we make it zero, it will be perfectly clear glass. Okay, let's see. As you can see, all three objects, well, in fact, all four objects, because I assign the same material to four objects are now perfect glass. Let's fix it because we don't need that. Okay, that was our clay. So uh, we need to make it default material. So we will make roughness to 100 and we will turn off the transmission. Okay, let's re-render it again. Yes, okay. And now this ball should be glass so we just make it unique in Blender, call it glass ball, and we turn roughness to zero, and we turn on the transmission. Uh, changing the settings in uh, Blender is just mirroring the settings in Material Editor. As you can see, roughness is zero, transmission is on, and that's what we did here. Let's re-render it. Yes, the preview says it's a glass. Let's render it in Nox. And let's refresh it. Five, yes, we've got a glass ball. Okay, but that's not all the options. Let's take this ball and let's make it unique and make fake glass ball. It will look like a bubble and it's uh, really nice effect and uh, absolutely faster than normal glass. So roughness to zero, transmission and fake glass option on. Let's render it. As you can see it's almost like some plexial plastic, very very clear or uh, rather like a bubble. Let's re-render it. As you can see this one on left is glass and this in the middle is fake glass. Okay, the third option is colored glass. So let's make this material unique and let's make colored glass ball. Run next material editor, turn roughness to zero, turn on the transmission and turn on the absorption. Absorption let's make it on 10 centimeters and Let's make it red. So what we will do, it will uh, make our glass red and it will be more red the less uh, depth we get. So if we just make it 0, 1, the rays will uh, turn red very, very fast. Just look at this. It's almost black. It's only a little, little, little bit of red here, as you can see. If you increase it to, let's say, 10, okay, it's quite nice red glass. And let's render it. Okay, it was obviously too much. So let's stop it. And this time, we let's not get back to Blender. Well, let's uh, do it in Nox. So let's go to Materials, to our colored glass ball, and turn it to... I guess maybe 44. Let's check this out and render. Yes, this time we've got much more 
uh, transmission through the uh, through our glass ball. Let's stop it. Uh, just remember one thing: if you change anything in Nox that is rendering or just uh, finished rendering, uh, you need to change it in Blender again. So the best way with working with Nox with Blender is not make changes in Nox until you are in post-production stage or you're just trying because all of these changes you will need to apply again after you turn off Nox. Okay, so let's render our three balls. Yes, glass, fake glass and red glass. Okay, let's close Nox and we can also play with roughness. If we make roughness, I guess let's seven, eight points and render again, it will be more like a milk glass. As you can see, it's not as transparent as it was. But we can crank it up a little more. That's 20, maybe to even to 30. Render again. Now you can see this ball isn't as transparent as it was. So that's the basic glass material uh, tutorial for you. And that's all folks. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.